I don't get to do this very often also you can see my there's my face cam live feed right now from my webcam uh, shout outs for the high quality webcam I bought from Logitech or something and as you can see it's just a one for one like high quality stream looks okay so far I'm really liking the quality all right, which one is us? Not that one. Probably this one. All right, so last time we finished up Bubble Glitch Swamp and Clinker's Cavern, so today we're going to probably head up to the very top. And there's some like bottles mini games I'm supposed to be playing, but I have no idea where those are. So we're just gonna go ahead and like ignore those for now. Until I know where they're at, and then we'll go ahead and get those sorted out. The stream looks good. It's probably gonna go bad just because I said that, but whatever. It's all for the best. So I think I fixed some of the issues that we're using up a lot of uh, stuff on my computer. And by a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of CPU. I was not even holding the left trigger, I have no idea how that happened. There is a way you can actually go ahead and like jump to the hat from like from like here but it's pretty hard so the stream looks okay but it looks like it might have some audio desyncing issues like last time so sorry about that no that's not what you're supposed to do wait there's a speedrunning trick here which I want to see if I can get I think it'd be pretty cool But I hit that green switch. What you're supposed to do is hop into the urn, but there is a speedrunning trick I saw. And oh god, I just got hit by that guy. It's embarrassing. Oh, I already have max red feathers. And why do I even bother? Stop. Let's see if I can get this. I have no idea how to actually do it. I've just seen it done on speedruns before, and it looks pretty cool. I just want to try to do it. I'm not gonna work at the stream anymore. Oh, so if it's if it goes bad suddenly, sorry, you should be used to it by now. It's probably a really precise angle you gotta roll in, honestly. What's that angle, man? Give me the angle, dude. Give me the angle. Give me the jiggy. There's a jiggy in here, by the way. If you couldn't tell, it's why I'm rolling in. Yeah, it looks like my thing's like stuttering a lot. Like the frames just suddenly drop. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave it. It's okay. It's not the end of the world that we can't do a speedrunning trick. I don't know how to do like any speedrunning tricks in this game anyways, so. Anyways, you slide down there, you get the Jiggy. It's pretty cool. Now there is a level I can open, actually. I just remembered. And there's also another thing I can find. Which I want to find these things in the game, because they are very useful. I want to try to show off everything in the game, even though I don't really know where everything in the game exactly is, so. What we need is this. <laughs> Banjo, Rukazui. There you go. There you go. We got Freeze Easy Peak. I'm already making more progress in Jason than his playthrough. <laughs> I 
or has in his playthrough, he's probably gonna finish it, so. Shit. Well, I don't have the right transformation. Um, that's bad. I can't get in there? Okay. Well, okay. I need, I believe I need, uh, I need, I believe I might need the alligator thing. Should we go and get that? Might go ahead and have to go get that. I want to, I want to show that off. And I'll have, probably have to look up where the other ones of that are, but I'll just, I want to show it off nonetheless. The yeah, stream looks great so far. I just hope it continues. I just hope it looks like that the whole time and doesn't have any of those lag things ever happen. I have nothing else open on my computer, so that's why. Alright, let's try to get the alligator thing. Oh shit. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> shit, I missed it because I looked at the stream instead of looking at Vanjo Kazooie. This music is just so addicting, dude. I'm sorry. I sound like an immature PewDiePie YouTuber singing all the music in the game, but I can't help it. I sound like DSP gaming, honestly, which is a very bad thing. But I'm sorry, it's just it's just so good. All right, let me check the. I think the microphone, the audio is okay on the game stuff. I'll lower it a little bit, actually. I'll lower it just a tad. It looks it looks well mixed for me, but I know that might be just the program lying to me. So Yeah the the, the thing looks like it might it's stuttering a little bit, so I'm sorry if there's any desync issues. But honestly desync, audio desync that's somewhat there is better for me than uh, the actual thing lagging, like that stupid thing that happens. Even though I swear, my Call of Duty stream, my Call of Duty stream is like the most perfect Xbox stream I've had yet, because there's like no audio desync, like literally the whole thing was just perfect. I'm not sure how this is going so far, this might be a reincarnation, hopefully. Shit. Okay, you gotta go through there. Don't know why I said there like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The camera is so oh, oh, weird. Alright, we're gonna slowly hop our way out of uh, Bubble Goop Swamp. I would go ahead and do the Mr. Vile game again, try it out again, since I think I can do it without a. Uh, I think I could do pretty good at it without uh, the thing. But. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Slowly get up here. I can see it's quite hard work to lump around that squawking jerk. And here's Cheeto. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my secrets or spells away, I was assuming, sorry. Which lost book? Finders Bear and Bird are. Spell they get. We sure do bag, lady. Come on, book boy. Give us give us the spells. 
Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor and Treasure Trove Cove. World. Help you. Help you. It will. Hidden in lair, other spell books are. Then. You should find. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just checking the stream again. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. I saw how like it had a little frame drop. Which I, uh, probably means an audio desync thing, so sorry, but we'll see how it goes. Other than that, it looks fantastic. I mean, of course the quality could always be better, but at least it's not doing that thing. You know, that thing. I won't look at it anymore. I'll try to. It's like it's like it's like a it's like an, a it's like a drug, man. You just can't stop doing it. <laughs> we'll keep going. We'll get that spell off of us. Alright, so I don't know where the other spell books are, which we'll, we probably want to find them because they are very useful, especially when time for the final battle comes around and you need like all the stuff. Like really, having having a ton of gold fighters for the final battle is amazing. It's not really cheating because even though he says it's like cheats, I mean, he's kind of lying. It's just something you can find in the game. And they aren't really like sheets like invincibility, it just gives you twice the eggs. Really a cheat code is something that's like super hidden, like the game never tells you about it directly. You kind of have to like find it yourself. Like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. Like this is just, in my eyes this isn't a cheat code. This is just like a secret of sorts. Um, I thought I did this already. Leaky patched up, no empty water for bear. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna head back into the sand castle. Let's go ahead and kill this guy before he causes any more issues. Boom. Now let's do blue eggs. Wait, where is where's the B? Here it is. B where's the L? Frick. Here you go. Now we need E. You I mean. E. Where's E? Where's E number two? What? Is it just alright, well, let's just try one E. We gotta do G. Did, did it register? Did I mess up? Oh, fuck this. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> let's try it again. Maybe I actually have to put the E in twice. B. L. You. E. There you go. Then we need G. Then we need G. Then we do S. Boom. 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum total. I think there was another line of dialogue there I missed, which sucks. What are you gonna do? Let's see. I swear there's a honeycomb thing I was missing here, whatever. Alright. Now. <coughs> sorry. Now, let's progress. Let's get some, some more health, though. Oh, this guy's a troll. There you go.
I got cucked so hard. I've never been cucked harder in my life. Wrecked. Alright, so where do we want to go now? We could, well, we need to open Gobi Valley before we go there. I say tonight we're going to do Gobi Valley and Freeze Easy Peak. That sounds like a good idea. I think it sounds like a good idea. So we need to go open Gobi Valley. How many How many notes does this door need? 350? I gotcha. Alright, we're just going to walk through this area. We're not going to speedrun because... It's kind of a risky area. You die instantly if you touch the lava down there. Thankfully, we don't need to go all the way up. We seem to go here. <clears throat> Gobi Valley is actually kind of a tough world, so we're going to need to definitely be on the lookout there. Anyway, Gobi Valley, let's go. This is the right way, yep. Maybe they patched a little roll into the uh, tomb thing on this version. That, that, that sand stuff hits you and takes damage if you hit it, so we're just gonna go ahead and go in here. Get this. Run right back out. Shit. Shit. Oh, we're not definitely not gonna make it. Oh yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. Good. I don't see why I just did that. Okay. Gobi Valley. I just, fuck me, I just went out. Please tell me the gingos are still there. I've collected all the gingos, good. Alright, so let's start going away valley here. A tough world. I swear the game starts getting a bit hard. The other worlds weren't that bad. Clinker's Cavern might have been a bit bad. But other than that, the other worlds weren't too bad. Maybe you might think Old Glute Swamp kind of bad, but this is the first world that starts getting a bit annoying. And it's a, a lot worse on N64, like pretty much everything is, where uh, you lose all your notes when you die. You have to recollect them all. The only thing you really have is a note score, but that doesn't really help, does it? So... <laughs> We're gonna try to do this world somewhat decently. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Kind of nervous, honestly. I don't know why, because it's not like I'm gonna have too many repercussions if I die. I'm just, I don't know, just kind of nervous. Let's see, first thing we want to do is grab this. Ikumbokum. Now we want to see if the stream's lagging, then we're gonna see that it's not, so now we're gonna head over here. We're gonna notice how the stream looks really weird on the screen because I have the brightness turned up on this or something. Cause it doesn't look like that on the other thing. That tickles. Shit. That's why I have 200 eggs, everyone. Alright. We only need to do one. I thought you needed to do multiple. Okay. Uh. Alright. Let's not get grabbed by the hand. And let's head into the... Little mummy thing. I guess. Don't grab me hand, thanks. If you're wondering why I'm jumping after everything, it's because jumping is jumping and using talent trot is the fastest move method of movement in Banjo Kazooie. Pick that up from speedrunning for sure. How you how you get this thing to go? This thing's supposed to actually move. I don't know why it's not. Why is it not moving? <laughs> Okay. 
can't even get on it. Won't move. Oh, you guys, you have to do this. I'm stupid. <laughs> Just one, okay. Alright, we got that. Nice. Frame drops are really annoying me on stream, but you know what? It's okay other than that. It looks fine. I'm sure a little frame drop won't hurt anybody, except maybe if you're listening. Well, my audio shouldn't be affected, but also I don't even know if my thing is properly delayed. Whatever. It wouldn't matter anyways. I'm sure that all this the frame drop might cause it to be invalid anyway. But, uh... All right, let's get this stuff. Now we have some notes we can get, a mumbo token. Yeah, the works. What the hell? Thank you. Let's hope we can get it all in time. We should have got it. There you go. We're good. At least for that area. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I wasn't even singing the music correctly. That's that's me in a nutshell. Alright, I've forgotten everything we can do in this area, so bear with me here. We're probably gonna be here a while. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing a 100% playthrough of this game, hopefully. Which would mean I need to get everything. We know how bad that can be. So I don't want to fall off here. That would be very tragic. So you need to use Talon Touch to try to climb these little, like, moving sand areas. Or else you will indeed just slide down. Which can spell trouble, depending on where the end destination is. <coughs> also, my, my platforming is not at its peak today. Jeez, man. It's not at all. What? This is not working out. Oh shit, that was so close. I my I was clenching so hard there, but we're good. All right, let's let's actually just fly across here. Now there is a little rug we can take to do a little thing with Gobi. Oh, that was close. Remember? Oh well, no, you don't remember Gobi. This is the first time Gobi appears. So gotta break off that rock. Pants. It's too hot for. Gobi or something. Here's your reward, bear. Gobi's off to cool down. I was saying remember Gobi, but you actually see him later. We're gonna see him later, and that's where we're gonna have to remember him. I wouldn't be surprised if he makes a cameo on Banjo-Tooie as well, which I would buy Banjo-Tooie and play it, but they don't have it for sale for some reason, even though they have Nuts and Bolts and the original game for sale right now. Not sure why they don't have the other game for sale. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to want to do? I want to go see what this ring thing is all about. Shit. Only we sand eels can... Fuck. That didn't sound right. Sand eels are the only ones that can go in that. Lava, we can't go in the lava. That's basically what you're saying. Oh, okay. Now, if there's one thing I remember, it's that that honeycomb piece is a pain to get. So, we're gonna see how that fares for us. 
Because as usual, the flying in this game, not exactly the most optimal flying I would want in a game. Okay, hope we can make it in here in time. Okay, we did it. Barely. Okay, we gotta do this. I remember this. Mainly from Grunty's Furnace Fun, but more on that when we get to Grunty's Furnace Fun. Alright, anyway, let's kill this guy. I think we can kill this guy. Actually, I don't think we can. Yes, it's a matching game. With all sorts of fun-filled matching. For your pleasure. Because you know, I really wanted to play a matching game today. I don't know about you guys. Fuck. God, I hate that guy so much. Such a royal pain. Dude, seriously. I'm trying to play, I'm trying to play, I'm trying to match here. Give me a break. I might not get this in time. Let's see. Alright, music note probably gonna be right there. Good job. Alright, that only leaves Kazooie. Boom. Piece of cake. Yaha. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Not so fast. Alright. We'll get that honeycomb piece later. Anyway, there's a couple of notes for us. Oh god, that's such an annoying noise. Anyway, we can't use that right now. We gotta go learn that move. Let's go learn that move. I don't remember where to learn it, but we'll find that. I think it's right here, actually. Ye oh, it's me. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast. For a limited time. Hmm. Your energy is a bit little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all the moves I can teach you in this world now. Alright, so let's go actually do this. There's one thing we can do with those, uh, with that new move right now. Well, actually, there's multiple things. We can backtrack, which I might do that this episode. We can backtrack to bubble group swamp to do the uh do the uh mini game and we can do something else so this is the fastest way to move in a game is turbo trainers you go really fast no i've had that a thousand years well done morsel so if you try to do that normally there is a way you can clip into him i think but other than that there's no way you can get that casually there's no way you can get that Jicky without turbo trainers, which is why I got turbo trainers before I did it. Now you know. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do this now. There's this little thing we can do. Let's go ahead and get that. Now let's get hit twice, because we're really good at this game. Alright, I need to get rid of this guy first off. Shit. That's not how you get rid of him. Alright, we need to get rid of him, like, actually. There you go. Well, not good. We're, just gonna, we're not gonna jump, I guess. Get off. Thank you. Oh, that's not good. Angel's gonna slide straight into a fiery fate. Alright. What's up top here? Nothing. Oh, there is something, maybe. No, there's actually nothing. Okay. 
There's a lot of flying stuff that I guess we'll do last, just because I don't want to do it now, really. I don't ever want to do it, but we gotta do it eventually. Okay. There's also a maze during this level, we'll see how that goes. That we need to hit a we need to hit a witch switch in the maze, so like you know, it's gonna be fun. Anyways, there's this, which is also a very fun, very, very fun little time challenge we gotta do. Not hard at all. I wasn't expecting to get that first try. Well, really, the main reason we lost is because we were doing the w the notes at the same time. Now, let's try it again. <sighs> Come on. Nice. God. <sighs> it's so it's so intense, dude. Oh, I hate this so much right here. Yeah, swim underwater with these mummies. And they will actually hit you like trucks. Now there is a way I think we can get this water level to go down but I'm not sure how we do it actually we need to get this jiggy first off there you go maybe that'll do it yeah get the jiggy first that's a good strategy oh yeah that does that nice 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 now you can get all the other stuff in there with the ease so we'll go ahead and just jump around you guys cleverly. Oh, I gotta, gotta get a manipulate the AI to get away from that one. There you go. We're good now. Basically. Alright, now there's stuff we need to do down here, I believe. Actually, was I supposed to do that? I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm supposed to lower the water level, maybe. We'll see. So I know there's something we can do here. Oh, I just saw it. Did you guys just see it? This thing, we gotta feed this thing. I'm not even sure how that worked, <laughs> but whatever. Where's the next one at? No, he just opens that up for us. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. Oh, come on. Oh, stop, banjo. Okay. Nice. Hold on really quickly, I might as well before we go any further. Might as well swim for all these bad boys. Wait, one more Jinjo. And I would bet it's in the uh, maze that we're gonna come up to, I believe, next. There's a there's like a little fly thing on come on, there's a little fly thing on my on my uh well it's not there anymore. There's a fly on my monitor that I've been playing on. I was about to kill it. God damn it. 
hate the swimming section so much. Alright. I think there's some notes on the outside. We'll check one last time. How long have I been streaming? Obviously, I can't check. Oh man, that's so tight. And that's it. And we can go to the top of the pyramid for a Mumbo's token. How about that? Well, I messed up royally. And I missed that dialogue by jumping out like a moron, so sorry about that. Anyway, let's go back in here. Let's get these notes, and let's see how this goes. This might end up in very poorly. There's a way you can like skip this little maze. Oh shit. Already not going too well for us. I went the wrong way. So where's the way you have to go? Might as well grab that extra life, I'll probably need it. I know it's a dead end. We're gonna have to come back in here as well for a uh, Genjo. Alright, I found the exit. We're actually just gonna go ahead and roll with the exit for now. We'll come back and get a Witch Switch later and a Genjo. Unless the Jinjo, no, the Jinjo isn't here. We need to get the witch switch later. Gotcha. He's in here, isn't he? And then there's a Mumbo's token in there. There's a gold feather in there. Where's the Jinjo? He's in here. to go back in there and get the witch switch and then and then my friends we will be cooking only thing is I gotta find out where to where we go to do this probably need to go around this way I'd say This might be a suicide mission to come and get this. There you go. We'll see. Maybe we can get out. Shit. No, we're good. Alright. How many jiggies do we have in here? Seven. We need three more jiggies and there's two honeycomb pieces. Like, I'm just going to know where those are. But, what we do know is that there's... And how many notes do I have in here? 87? Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. 87 notes in this area. <clears throat> I don't know where the rest of those notes are. I know there's a few over there, but I don't know where any of the others are. Alright, we're gonna fly on over to, uh. We're gonna fly on over to Gobi first, see what Gobi's up to. Actually, oh shit. Actually, no, Gobi's not going to be over there just yet. Gobi's over here trying to get some peace and quiet. 
So obviously we're going to spoil his fun here. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Hey, fuck you, dude. Don't be a prick. Ah, lovely water. Chunker feels great. Alright, that's 8 out of uh, 10. Now we need all the notes, and then we'll be good for Gobi's Valley. And then there's the, uh, there's obviously, there's your two, oh shit, this might not be good. Can I get a honeycomb piece? Thank you. I'll need a honeycomb piece because Next thing I'm gonna go for is uh, I'm gonna go for the flying stuff, which can in itself be a pain. But there's also the little honeycomb piece I need to get. So there's this, which we gotta fly through these things right here in order to, you know. Also, I think there's something we can get for a target somewhere, which we might have to get another move before we can get that, but we'll see. We're just going to fly through all these rings, like we're playing Superman 64, but with better controls. <laughs> as weird as it is to say, because I do not like the flying in this game at all, but honestly it is a lot better than Superman 64, just to be honest. Right, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's see, where is where is the next one at? Right there. I got you. Nice. That was pretty good. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Hey, I'll, I'm down for it. I really want to get this with while flying because that does skip the animation. It's a pretty cool speedrunning trick, but oh uh, yeah, as you can see, good luck for me getting that. <laughs> when would I ever do good in a game anyway? As you see, there is that target up there. And there's also a guy, that guy Gobi, we can visit again. But first, there's this. I might have to come back and do this later. Because if I don't do it, if I do it now, it might just be too aggravating. I knew I would fuck it up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Alright, sweet. That's good. It's very good. Now, we have to do this. Now, let's go. I cannot believe I just got... Holy shit. I got cucked so hard. Dude, if I was playing this game on N64, I would have fucking smashed my controller. <laughs> I would have smashed my controller, dude. Wow, I got cucked. I want to fly on over to Gobi. Because taking this stupid rug is for pussies. Shit. This is not for me. Oh, okay. What the hell? Dude, that guy just came and sniped me, like, so hard. Like, wow. He showed me a thing or two. I tell ya. What do we get if we... I think it's just a secret. I think it just sets up for the next thing. Oh, you got a honeycomb piece. But uh, that's it, I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Alright, there you go. 
Yeah, there's that target, and I'm gonna assume we gotta come back with the uh, Jumbo Smash. Whatever that thing's called. The thing where he says Jumbo, and then he, like, flies. Or something stupid. <laughs> okay, there's that bug. That bug came back. I might have gotten him away now. Alright, there's eight more notes, and I have no idea where any of them are at. This is gonna be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Finding the eight notes! Oh god, finding the eight notes. Where did those eight notes go? And leaving any notes is going to be very bad because I need this 100% the game needs to get all the notes. How you gonna get all the notes? And like, I, I really want to do it all in one s level sitting because coming back to a level to get the rest of the notes is a very, very annoying process. So I really want to try to avoid it as much as I can. Which means I can't suck balls and I gotta get where all the rest of the notes. Mm. Trying to think where they might be. There is that door over there. You notice that door in there? You see where. It, oh shit. Like, I don't know. We'll see. What we'll do is we'll come back to this level once we get the jumbo smash, because we're gonna get that freeze easy peak, which is our next level, and then we will see what that's all about. But first. But first, oh, but first, before we do the freeze easy peak, there's one level we need to take a visit, to revisit to, and that is Bubble Glue Swamp, baby. That's right, we gotta go get, well first thing was first, we actually need to use the shock pad. Oh shit. Use the shock pad. Get that. I think we were trying to get earlier. Now, we can go this way. Wow. Can't believe I got cucked. Like I said, there were some, like, apparently some bottles, things we can do in this game. But let's go ahead and do those later when we're, like, cleaning up the cleanup stream. Or basically everything that we do before we head to Grunty's Furnace Fun. Or the final boss, I guess. Okay. Now, what we need to do is go get our transformation once again. I'm not sure if there's any faster way we can go get that transformation and actually take going through that stupid maze. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any faster way. I can't like break through this or anything. So we will have to go this way. And obviously for the blissfully unaware, I'm playing XBLA version of Banjo-Kazooie. Not really very many differences from the N64 version. Controls are a bit different, obviously, and um, you don't lose all your notes when you die, which is probably the biggest difference or change they made, and probably the best one, because, god, I hated that so much in the original game, and also, load times are better, you know, standard, uh, standard port stuff. <clears throat> Anyway, we're going to transform here to Alligator. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's go. <sighs> with turbo trainers, this is actually not that hard. It's way harder without turbo trainers. Her, 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 Mr. Vile. Fucking bitch. Play me to win. Let's play them to win. Red Yumbreez. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just go get Turbo Trainers right now. And this will be beyond easy. The first game is already pretty easy. Without Turbo Trainers, but getting Turbo Trainers. I think it's pretty much infinite for this whole little thing. So... It might actually wear off sometime. Actually, I kind of do want to try to follow him. Never mind. Shit, this is not looking too good. Oh, I stole it. I, I, you got cucked. You got cucked hard, Mr. Vile. You got cucked. Oh, I said it's easy. I might lose. So I'm pressing the X button at the wrong time. Alright, we won. Grr, you only won easy game, now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow, grumblies, they not ripe, ready, three, two, one, go. Shit. Bastard. Whenever you miss a bite, you like slide a little bit. It's really weird. Uh, lucky greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Now this is where it gets challenging. This is where I'm gonna actually follow him around. steal it from him. Nope. Shit. 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 I'll oh, get cucked, you fucking bastard. Thank you. Oh, so we won that one. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. And with that, we take the prize. Very nice. And with that, we will complete Bubble Goat Swamp 100%, I believe. And that's going to be it for that. We're just going to go ahead and leave the area as alligator and just wait, let it transform us. So, for the next... For our next task, we will be tasked with completing Freezy Peak, which is kind of a hard level. So bear with me here. Also, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to try to be using YouTube's automatic highlight thing to highlight these parts of the stream, uh, so I don't have to like download them and render them and all that nonsense. But YouTube's way of doing it is really stupid, so like it might be kind of bad the way I do it, but just bear with me on it. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to like do that just so because I don't want to start I used to want to archive all of my streams and sometimes I still do that because my streams are like for a series but if it's not that then I'll just highlight the things I need to highlight call it a day and not archive a whole four hour stream for no reason that's just wasting YouTube's resources honestly for something that's not really even that entertaining now, if it is a really entertaining random stream, then I will do it. Or if it's something I want to keep, then yeah. But if it's other than that, random streams will not be archived anymore. It just kind of makes you a bit more professional. I guess. Alright. Oh shit, don't kill me, dude. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna get cucked. I don't know why I love that term now, cucked. Like, not cooked, but cucked. C U C K D. C U C K E D. Cucked. Alright, now we're going to head up to the top. We're going to go to Freeze Easy Peak, and we're going to actually do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to complete Freeze Easy Peak. I believe I can complete it 100% now, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but it's very, very tedious and difficult. I don't know if we can do this right here yet. We'll do this later actually, there's a witch switch thing we can do later there. We'll do that after. This stream will probably wrap up with us trying to finish off Gobi's Valley. The Peak's got another new move waiting for you if you can find it. First let's go in here, let's see what's up in here. Wow, where's our presents? Our dead bog, he said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Wow. Freeze Easy Peak has some pretty good music. I mean, it's kind of become a meme for me now after watching the uh, Banjo Kiss movies uh, Nintendo Thon run. If you haven't seen that, please go watch that. It's hilarious. I've never laughed harder than that grown my stomach aches i shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing someone help poor boggy we can't just ground pound him if that's what you're thinking we gotta actually all right jesus man i hate the enemies here we got we got snowmen i don't know what they're actually called we're just gonna call them snowmen that's all they deserve to be called because they're atrocious human beings i just said they're human beings just, just kill me okay Right now, this thing over here, I don't really get what this thing is all about. This little mini game over here, but we'll see if we can do it. Maybe we can do it. Alright, here we are. We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us can get there, we can light the tree for you. Should be good now. We've had we have a little pattern going for us. Well, obviously we don't. Alright, we're good. 
Alright. Phew, that was close. But we made it. Now switch us on. Yep, you be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry. Oh, I've harassed this time, shit. Okay. I wasn't planning on this, but I believe the flying thing is over here. And we need to fly in order to. Because we need to be a star. Which means we gotta fly through a star a few times. Alright, now let's try to turn around and do this again. And we gotta fly through it three times, I believe. There you go. Very good. That's inside the tree. Now we gotta get down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I pressed the A button to get down. It didn't really help. Okay. Also, we can't go in the water in here either because it's too cold. So just keep that in mind. Shit, you're gonna see that right now. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay off then. Oh, that was pretty cool. Alright, now we're gonna head into the tree here. There is a present. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Give it to those crying kids, is what you need to do. I don't remember how many presents you need. Do you need just one, or do you need multiple? Probably multiple. Come on, Banjo, thank you. I think there's multiple presents you gotta collect. Oh god, this might be bad. Okay, we're good. How many of these can we get? Oh god, if I remember this being pretty annoying, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we can... Oh shit. Jumbo. Alright. Alright, that's pretty, that's a nice way to set it up, okay. That's one of ten. I thought you might be able to control this game with a D-pad, I guess I'm wrong. That'd suck anyways, I don't know why I'm thinking about that, okay. I don't know, there's some games you think you would not be able to control with a D-pad, but then you just can, like, uh, I, it's Battle for Rickety Bottom, you can control with the D-pad. Um... Yeah, just some weird games like that. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beep bomb, beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. And energy's a little low. He'll refill the energy for us. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Nice. So we don't need any more moves to beat the game, because that's all the moves in the game. It's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see these guys try to hit us. We can actually kill them, which we'll want to kill, I believe, one of them over there. We can kill them with our new beak bomb attack. So let's try to try this out. We're gonna try to kill as many of these guys as we can so they don't troll us. Oh fuck, see that's my that's my issue with beak bomb is if you miss, you're fucked, usually. Now if it's a mid-air target that you're trying to hit, you should probably shouldn't worry. Nasty fierce bear, fuck you. Okay, so Yeah. Usually if you're if you're not I don't know what I'm saying. 
if you're uh if you're not like um can i please talk if you're not hitting a target on the ground then you should be good since you'll just miss it and just like keep going and you'll just go back to flying after a second but god forbid you're trying to hit a ground target with beak bomb and you miss all right there you go we got that guy at least it's pretty good we should be able to hit that guy nice let's hit some more guys around here Thank you. It's going pretty good. Well, I'm on a roll, man. Wow. Hope I can be as good as Beak Bomb and the final boss. <laughs> Only anyone who's ever played the game will get that. I'm actually aiming these really well. I'm very proud of myself. Oh, yeah, we actually do have to do that to get a Jiggy, so glad I, glad I did that now. Better late than, or better early than never, I guess. It's not the saying at all. Oh god, okay. Now let's do some cleanup. On the ground. We have some stuff we can get. Some notes, some mumbo tokens from all those guys we killed. The thing I love about this game is nothing despawns. Everything stays on the map. It's like if, you, if someone drops some honeycombs, they'll be there for, for as long as you need them. Which is great, honestly. I love it. Because platformers usually try to rush you to get stuff. Like Mario games, if you don't get that coin, like in a few seconds, it's gone forever. But in these games, or in this game at least, I don't know about Tui. Probably works the same in Tui. Everything stays there. Oh god. Nice. That was really impromptu. I wasn't expecting that to work. I forgot you can do that, actually. I need to start using that a bit more now. Alright. There's our witch switch. We'll be doing that when we get out of here. Oh, that's not gonna work. All right, whatever. Let's do some more cleanup. Uh, Shit, shit, shit. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I need to go down there, actually. So what I need to do... Something else I want to do, actually, hold up, is we need to hit some targets on this snowman with our beak bomb. These little target things right here. Oh shit, did not mean to do that. That cost me some health. Like I said, if you, miss, if you mess up Beak Bomb, you mess up pretty badly. Alright, now we need to... There's another one on this side, damn it. I was about to fly up a little bit more. Alright, it's just one... Okay, good, I thought there was more. I guess there's not though, so that's good. Now, should we... What's not, actually? We'll just go ahead and... Climb that the normal way later. Because we still need to get some stuff down on the ground. Like this Jiggy, for instance. Oh my god! I really want to get this stuff so badly without touching the ground. You have no idea. Oh my god, dude. Clutch, boys. We in there, we skipped that jiggy animation. Time save. <laughs> I can totally speedrun this game, guys. I'm gonna learn this game next. My next my next speed game is gonna be Banjo Kazooie. Oh god. I don't even know if the if the three sixty version has a community. It probably does. Just not a big one compared to the N64 one. 
Oh, that, that one of those guys also dropped a honeycomb piece. Awesome. Alright, this is gonna be pretty bad. We're gonna need to get all these, like, really fast. Alright. Green Jinjo. Oh god, this guy is pretty mad. God, I got cucked. Oh my goodness. Honey comes for days. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I need to learn how to climb this. I really like the way they did this. The yellow things have notes, the red things have feathers. It's pretty cool. Alright. We're doing pretty good. Like, really good, actually. What are we supposed to do with this? Jumbo. Well, that's not good. Boom. Oof. That's better. Hey, you found my sled? I'll go and practice for the big race now. I'll see you, buddy. Alright, there's a big race we gotta do. And we can actually do it since we have the turbo trainers. I think we gotta go back up there. There might be a present or something. We'll see. I know there's a jiggy for sure. But I don't know about the present. We'll see. There's a jiggy. Oh, I love playing this game, dude. It's so much fun. Well, it's all fun games until Furnace Fun comes along. But other than that, you know, there's nothing bad about this game, dude. Yeah, I was right. There's a present up here. Okay. I think it's the last one. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Very nice. And we really can fly up to the very top to get that jiggy that all the snowmen defeated dropped. Well, actually, I think I just messed up. I was supposed to fly all the way to the top. There's some eggs I can get, though, which is good, I guess. Right, very carefully. There you go. This isn't good. Shit. Oh, that's, that's right, you can just do that, I'm stupid. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta beak barrage these dudes. 
Alas, is bad. All right. What we do now? What we want to do is. Oh God! What do we do? <laughs> kind of stuck. Okay, so we gotta. I believe we have to do the the big sled race. Well, first thing we need to probably do is go give those presents to the kids. You know what? We'll fly down just to be safe. What the hell? I was thinking for a Christmas stream to like be playing through single levels from games that are Christmas themed, and I'd probably do this one. I don't know, I think it's kind of a bad idea, but at the same time, I don't know. It might be kind of cool. I could have easily set up for that, Jiggy. Alright, well they all have presents now, so now we can return happy men and bear. Alright, so I forgot if we do this race with them or with the transformation. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We'll race you numb, but sorry, you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone smaller. Like a walrus. Wait. There is nothing up there, is there? There's just an extra life. This game just got really loud in my head. That's yeah, a good volume. Yeah, I think the audio is okay mix-wise. I don't have anyone in the stream to tell me otherwise, so we're just gonna assume that. Also, I think we just got all the notes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, let's get this transformation bot. Angel gone all fat, got big teeth, her, her. So I gotta pour some more coke. As we all know I need that. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so. I believe we use this to race him. I'm not sure though, but I'm pretty sure we do. Actually, before we race him, let's do go ahead and do the Waza stuff. I feel like this has been going for really long. I feel like I've been playing this game for a couple of hours at least. It's about to have been a couple of hours, I believe. I'll need to like, see how long I've been playing. I don't know if this program that I'm using has like an elapsed time thing. Because I would look at that. <clears throat> wow, another walrus. Take this. But watch out for Smelly Brown Bear and his ugly partner. Bird partner. Alright, let's go in here and see if there's anything. I think there's a Jiggy in here somewhere. Or maybe we... It's the Genjo, I think. The last Genjo. Oh, 
Uh, there's something in here. It's a honeycomb piece. Let me just come back in here as Banjo and Kazooie. Since now that Walrus went inside, I think that's what we need to do. We can only do that after we have won the race. thing about the walrus is you don't have to worry about the cold water obviously oh, I hate moving around as transformations they're so slow the bee is the only fast transformation <clears throat> hey mr. walrus fancy your race hop on the sled if you do I do we'll give it a whirl come on Come on. Wow. <laughs> Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red south slalom gates. Beam it to the end. Got it? 3, 2, 1, go. First race is easy, the second one gets a bit harder. You can gain a lot of time on them though if you if you jump up the slopes. Oh man, I almost missed that. Push me ahead. Oh, nice. First try. Phew, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. <clears throat> like Banjo of Kazooie. Now, the last two jiggies here are the Jinjo and the... Uh, what is it? The Jinjo and the second race, which is with Banjo, Kazooie, and that guy. What is his name? Baki. Baki's his name. Baki. Sorry. First things first, we need to get that Jinjo, so we're going to go ahead and do that after we transform back. We don't need the Walrus anymore. Shit. That was really early. I don't know why I did that. I think it actually starts over there. No, it starts right there. Okay. First things first, though, we do need to go do that thing with that thing. I just accidentally used a gold feather for no reason. Great. Uh, also, for I guess we'll go ahead and get this be uh, beehive thing here. We kind of need some health right now. Shit. And that's exactly how we lost all that health.
It's like in Mario 64 where you where you lose your health twice as fast in the cold water. Eek, the bear again. Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave. Poor Wazo alone. F fuck you, I'm gonna get that first. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is in there. I have no idea what that actually is. I guess we'll find out later. I think this actually uses a stop and swap thing. The legendary stop and swap. I believe the XBLA versions of Tui and Banjo-Kazooie use it. I'm not entirely sure how they use it, and I haven't tested it before. Because I don't have Banjo to because they won't put it on sale. <laughs> what triggers you low? Oh yeah, when they don't when they don't put banjo when they put when, when they don't put a banjo kazooie game on sale. Kinda triggers me. I don't even think I bought Banjo Kazooie on sale. Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept your B to decline. Chicken out. We'll chicken out for a second because I need to see where his turbo trainers are. Wait, there's no turbo trainers? I thought you had turbo I thought you needed turbo trainers for this. What? Oh, there are turbo trainers right there. Here's the rules, run through the red salon. Alright, see we just got an unfair position, so... As you can see, he's a lot faster. Thankfully, we do have turbo trainers, so we can be way faster than him. And it's the same row as before, which I don't, I don't really remember this one all that well. I don't really remember racing him with this. I played through this whole game first time on, uh, shit! I played through this game first time fully on Xbox One, the backwards compatible thing. And then I'm playing it for I'm playing it on 360 right now, so I mean there's obviously not much of a difference. Alright, well I missed a thing back there, but I came back with the victory. <clears throat> Good. Dole, I lost again and take my other metal. I'm off to look for my kids' presents, which I already found them, you swine. Okay. Alright, and with that, we have found all the jiggies and notes in FreezyZ Peak. So for now, we are done with FreezyZ Peak. And with that, we're not going to end the stream just yet. We are, that is the last level we're doing of the stream tonight. But, there's one more thing we need to do. First thing I need to do is check Gobi Gobi Gobi. I almost said Gobi Gobi Valley. <laughs> Why did I almost say Gobi Gobi Valley? Um, the first thing you need to do is go check Gobi Valley and see if that beak bomb is exactly what we need. And we also need. We also do actually need to check this out really quick. Actually, the first thing we need to do is take out a cobweb down there. Get some honeycombs for our health. Okay. I wonder if any of my tags or titles saved because no one's watching right now. Then again, it is pretty late, like I said, so maybe that'll explain it. I don't know. Yeah, there is that down there is what we need. Actually, there's... That ugly bear, you feathered freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. Grunzelda, 2016. Or more like 1998, but... <laughs> Alright, where am I going here? First things first, we probably need to do this. We probably need to do this to get this the thing, so let me just go ahead and do it. Huh, 
All right. Sweet. Now let's fly through here. Come on. Now normally right now speedrunners will be doing a really precise clip. That's very hard to do. And would you believe they would be doing that just to get into free ZZ Peak early. I want to see if there's anything else we can get. What's in here? I have never been in here before. What is what is up with this area? Is that that's just a shortcut, I guess. Okay, I first thought I was gonna find another Cheeto thing. I was about to be like, dude, no way. Activate a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. <laughs> um, can we we can open this, I think. Yeah, we can. We can open this. Sweet. Let's go ahead and open this really quick. Actually, I don't know why I did that. Okay. I don't want to open it, actually, just so I can, like, have a little reference for myself whenever I come back to this game later. But, you know what? Whatever. Let's actually go ahead and try to go back to Gobi Valley now. Because whenever I first played through this game, I don't think I got all the notes. I only got enough. I only got what I needed. I'm gonna die. This won't be good. This won't be good at all. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Ah uh, yes, this is where we go. I remember this area now. I just don't remember. I just didn't remember you had to do the beak bomb. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some something? No. We're looking for treasure pipe, boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours. If you can get it, yes. How do we get it? You may ask. Well, simply put, we need to get. We need to get some eggs into this, and there's a fly, I believe, on my microphone. Sorry if you could hear that somehow. You might have been able to hear it. Nice. Ah, a thousand thanks. My friend Stup will now help you with your quest. Kind of funny, you actually get to just climb them. Alright, there you go. That is the 10th Jiggy of Gobi Valley. Now we will be leaving Gobi Valley. For good, I believe. Unless there's something I missed, which if there is, then we'll find it later. That fly is very annoying today. Alright, and with that, we'll be ending this portion of the stream. AKA the Banjo-Kazooie portion.